Hi, my name is Sajid. So in today's video, I am going to demonstrate how to run PHP program on Ubuntu opening system. For this installation, I used Ubuntu 12.14 as opening system and PHP 5 as my PHP programming language. So in order to installation and run the PHP programs, we need to install some software and we need to install these software in the given order to run this application properly so first of all we need to install apache 2 it is a web server then php 5 on which we are going to program then mysql server to control all your mysql related queries as a server environment mysql client suppose if you want to access mysql database from any other computer or on the same computer with any client related software for that you need to install mysql client mysql workbench is a graphical user in interface tool to develop a procedure query and mysql database related things php my admin this is related to a client software for mysql with the help of php mysql you can you can access your mysql database on the client computer php 5 xdebug this is the debugging software that is using to debug php 5 on netbeans environment and the final is netbeans netbeans is a id on which you are going to develop your php programs and this php 5x debugs works with NetBeans so we can develop and debug our PHP program with the use, with the use of PHP 5x debug and NetBeans. So in the installation first I am going to see how to install all the software one by one on your event. So in order to installation we have two different modes. One is from command line and one is from Ubuntu software center. If you see here you have a Ubuntu software center so in Ubuntu software center these all software are listed and you can install all the software with the help of Ubuntu software center also so first of all we are going to see the installation of all the software from terminal for opening a terminal you need to type you need to click Control alt and t and then your terminal window will open just like this now in your terminal window in order to install apache to web server you need to type sudo app get install apache 2 so once you enter apache 2 it will prompt for a password and after password the installation will then on your server on your machine for apache 2 now how to check whether the apache server is installed on your machine or not so for this you need to open any web browser just like chrome or mozilla here i am going to open a mozilla web browser and in mozilla web browser on the address bar you need to type localhost as you type the localhost the message will come it works it means your apache server is installed and it is ready to work at the place of localhost you can type the ip address of your system that is 127.0.0.1 it is a default ip address for localhost so if you type this ip address the same message will appear on your computer screen now once the apache server is installed then you need to install php5 for installation of php5 say you need to type sudo apt get install php5 so once you enter the php5 and press the tab key of your keyboard you will find a lot of php5 software that is available with ubuntu software center now you need to 
install only php file so we are already set with the php file then you need to just press enter so once you press the enter the php file will be installed on your machine after this php file file you need to install mysql server client and workbench so in order to install mysql server client and workbench again you need to type the same command sudo get mysql slash if you put the slash and press the tab key it will showing all the possible options that is related to mysql on your screen like mysql client is there mysql server is there and mysql workbench is there so in order to run mysql proper on your machine you need to install all these three softwares mysql server workbench and client so first you install the server then mysql workbench and in last mysql client so once you press the enter key here to type to complete it by server workbench or client the appropriate mysql will install on your machine it is already installed on machine so i am not going to install this after installation of mysql server the next step is you need to install php my admin php my admin is a web based user interface to interact with your sql mysql server with with the use of web browser so in order to installation of my php my admin again type the same command to get install php my admin so once you install the php my admin with the help of php my admin you can develop or design your mysql server database from client side the next thing is you need to install that is php5 xdebug php5 xdebug is a debugger for php that <coughs> that is going to support to debug all our php programs on our development environment so type the same command sudo apt get install php5 and xdebug <coughs> so here is the option xdebug this version you need to install on your machine So once all the software is installed and in last you need to install netbeans so again type sudo apt get install netbeans so once you type this, uh, this command whatever be the latest version available for netbeans it is going to install on your machine so by this way we can install all the php related files and mysql with the help of terminal now if you want if you don't want to go with the terminal and you want to install all this program with the help of ubuntu software center so you need to open the ubuntu software center and in search bar just type the all the component that i showed before one by one and you will find all the software that is available on your ubuntu software center bucket now apache is already installed on my machine so it is visualized as a green arrow symbol if it is not installed it will not showing like a green arrow symbol and here you can see the button is named remove that is that, that is showing because of that my apache apache web server is already installed on my machine if the apache web server is not installed at the place of remove you should 
see the install button okay so by pressing the install button you can install all the all the software one by one on your ubuntu machine as we install ubuntu server after that one so once you type mysql test server you will find the server then mysql workbench mysql workbench is also there then mysql client so mysql client is also there after that we installed php my admin so type the php my admin the php my admin is also there and then php5 x debug so php5 x debug is also there and at last we install netbeans so once you type the netbeans the netbeans id is also there in our ubuntu software center bucket so with the help of ubuntu software center bucket or from the terminal window you can install all the related software that we need to develop a php program on our ubuntu now in order to configuration of all the software for php dev php5 development that i will cover on my next video so please follow to my next video there i'll be cover to configuration and development of program on php5